Hello everyone and welcome to War of 2012. Today we're going to take a look at the basic layout of the user interface. At the top of your screen you will notice several icons. These will allow you to easily access any part of the game. By clicking on the civil icon you will bring up your account overview information. Here you can upload an image, get your daily salary, go into vacation mode, access the novice card menu which will allow you to claim packages as you level up. You may also access the shop to claim VIP rewards or telegraphs and even delete your account. At the bottom you will notice that there is a city and hero overview for quick reference of your empire. There are also two sub tabs under the civil icon, build and research. Clicking on the build screen will bring up two categories of buildings. Here you will see the level of your resource and military buildings. You may upgrade or demolish the buildings from these screens, eliminating the need to use the visual art interface. From the research screen, you will bring up the different technology trees, including the infantry, cavalry, archery, weaponry, firearms, and defense, even the general tabs. These are trees that you may click on the icon to upgrade automatically. Next we have the military tab. This will open up your military affairs screen, where there are six tabs at the top. Actions, Troops, Equipment, Recruitment, Garrison, and Info. Underneath this there are eight sub-tabs, which allow you to attack, pillage, dispatch, reinforce, transport, go into truce, scout, or do temple arena missions. Underneath this, you will find battle atoms that you can buy and use to help in your conquest of 2012. The next tab is the Troops menu. Under the Troops menu, you will notice three different columns. Heroes, Hero Info, and Troops. All of your heroes will be listed under the Heroes column. When you choose a particular hero, their info will come up under the Hero Info tab. Under this column, you can see the level, whether the hero has been through Rebirth, the title, Mastery, which will include what type of unit they are best with, Expert, which is the secondary unit that they are good at, and then how many troops they are leading. You can select a troop for the hero by clicking on the troop and then entering how many you would like them to hold and confirming. Once a troop is confirmed to the hero, then you may use him in battle. Also, you can get troop info or hero info. You can sell a hero for trade, dismiss a hero, recruit more heroes, or even buy heroes. Also, in the troops column, you can see how many troops that you have that are serving a hero and how many are idle in your garrison. Next, we have the equipment tab. Under the equipment tab, you will notice four different columns. Hero info, equipment, inventory, and a list of your heroes. Under the hero info tab, you will see the, some of the same information we saw in the troops tab, but you also may rename, retrain, rebirth, or change your hero's portrait. You can also equip your hero from this tab. If you collect six pieces of six star equipment of different colors, your hero will get a bonus. You can have your hero auto-equipped if you were a VIP. You can also unequip all equipment, refine equipment, dismantle equipment, and recycle equipment from this tab. Underneath that, you can see all of the specifications of your hero, including strength, vitality, and intelligence, and also how many units that they can hold and the troops that they currently have. The inventory column shows all the inventory that you have currently available to you, and the heroes tab lists your heroes in order. From the Recruit tab, you will be able to recruit units into your army. Simply click on the unit icon and select the number of troops you would like to recruit. Then select Recruit. The Garrison tab reflects the garrison of your city. From here you can view your heroes and troops that they currently command, and the interactions between your troops, garrison outside the city, and the reinforcements from your allies. You may also dispatch troops by clicking on the March option. The Info tab allows you to easily view all military actions that are happening in your empire. The two submenus that are under Military are Hero and Recruit. The Hero tab will take you to your equipment screen, and the Recruit tab will take you to the Recruit screen. Next we have the Diplomacy screen. This will open up your Alliance menu. Under the Alliance menu you have a few different tabs, Overview, Members, Ranks, Military, Notes, Messages, and Lists. The Overview tab shows you all of the specific information about your alliance. 
the Members tab shows you what members are in the Alliance. The Ranks tab will let you sort and see what ranks are in the Alliance. The Military tab will list the events of the military in your Alliance. You may also use the notes to see what has happened in the past few hours. Messages will allow you to conduct your Alliance messages and send out different Alliance notes. And also the list of Alliances are also contained here. This is a list of all the Alliances currently in the game. From the Diplomacy menu, you also have the Alliance menu that comes up as a sub-tab. And also, you can see that the Relation tab is here, which shows you your friends, enemies, map notes, and the age protections. Next, we have the Market tab. From the Market tab, you can transfer resources between your own cities. You can also browse the player market for items and heroes. Browse resources that other players may want to trade. And after you enter the castle age, you can also post different items and heroes of your own. Under the market tab, you will also see two sub-tabs named trade, which will bring you to the resources screen, and also auctions, which will bring you to the browse screen. Rounding out the top menu, you will see the shop tab, which will bring you to the 2012 item shop. There are many different items offered to help you develop your empire. The sub-tab resource will bring you to the resources screen where you can purchase resources for coins. And the chest tab will bring you to the box menu where you can purchase different treasure chests that are full of special items like heroes and equipment. Then we have the rank screen which will take you to a page that ranks the lords and the heroes of the game. Finally we have the help tab which will allow you to contact administrators or get help from the forums. Below the main menu of icons, you will see a representation of your resources, population, city space, current server time, and the age you preside over. To the right, you can access the game chat. At the bottom left, you can access the different areas of your city. There are five different sections. Each of them will bring you to a different district of the city in which you may build. To the right of that, you will see your player image. Clicking here will also bring up the player overview. At the center bottom of your screen, you will notice five tabs. The City tab allows you to overview the current city you are located in and its resource output. You can also change cities from this tab. The Profile tab is a summary of your overview menu. Here you can see your progress to the next player level. The Queues tab allows you to see different building, recruiting, and research progress. And you also have the option to hurry those processes here. The Reports and Mails tab will supply you with information about your empire and allow you to communicate with friends and enemies via mail. To the right of those five tabs are five more tabs. The top tab allows you to toggle the visual world map and the city layout. When you toggle the world map, the directional menu at the bottom left will change to allow you to navigate the map. The Temple Arena tab will allow you access to the Temple Arena. The third tab down will access the Quest menu. There are three different tabs in this menu. The first, the Newbie Quest, which you will need to finish as soon as possible. And then the different Age Quests that come along after that. And then lastly, the Daily Quests. These will help you earn rewards to help you build your empire. Lastly, we have the Inventory which will show you all of the different items that you have under the Dismantle, Refine, and Exchange. And you may get coins from the last tab. To the very right hand bottom, when you're on the map screen, you will see the different coordinates that co coincide with the map. If you're on the city screen, you will see the options to upgrade and build different buildings.